Hey dearies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Deary. Welcome back to Better Base Game Mod Reviews by Deary, where I showcase mods that are base game friendly. For today's video, I'm showcasing some small mods and some override. So the first small mod I'm going to show you is UI Cheats. UI Cheats is one of the mods that I cannot play without. So UI Cheats basically helps you control your game a lot better. It helps you cheat the system. I can sit here and cheat my my sims needs and make them lower or i can make them higher to my liking i can also go out my way and if i right click i can set the relationships to something higher or something less so let's give them a 50 percent friendship level you can also cheat their skills so if we wanted to we can max our charisma up you can also cheat their jobs and like promotions if i right click we can automatically complete our task you can also do the same thing with work performance so we can put it up to like let's do 80 and we can set it you know you can just cheat their life you know control your game how you want to the next mod i have is this refrigerator inventory tweak if you click on the fridge it has open automatically on the first page instead of going through and clicking more choices this is just a small mod but it's super helpful because i like to know what's inside of my fridge before i make more food this is kind of an old mod this has been in my game forever this is by utopia sims and this is their default food override it just makes the food look more pleasing and it defaults the old texture to something more cute and realistic in my opinion like that grilled cheese just looks so much more edible to me i also have a mod that has no food sparkle so if this was like excellent quality it wouldn't be sparkling the next mod is for aesthetic purposes for me personally this is the hidden highlight which usually around your sims they have a white outline around them but this mod just removes that i don't know this is look so much better without it and so much more realistic hidden highlight also works on objects as well so the painting aisle isn't highlighted for any reason whatsoever and it just makes the game look a lot better in my personal opinion next is a phone override which obviously my sim has an iphone 11 this just overrides the phones to something more aesthetically pleasing and i like how the iphone 11 looks in game you can also go out your way and choose a color but i chose silver for everyone archer cook for you guys so i can show you how this one mod works this mod is called the no more skill level up notification so archer is about to level up his cooking skill and it doesn't show the little level up notification so as you can see he is now cooking too and it didn't show the little blah, 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 level up notification that it usually shows so another small mod i have and i call them small mods because it doesn't really matter if you have them or not so usually your sims poke their ear while they're cooking and i think that's really gross and stupid so i have a mod that removes little ear poking while they're cooking so the next mod i have is the no z mod which just removes the little icon bubbles of like the z's while your sims are sleeping it just removes that so this is a small mod to me this is the bed cuddle mod and this was in the sims 3 but i think it should have been incorporated into the sims 4 and i'm glad that the pancake one made this because it's so cute it's the one of the cutest mods i have it just allows your sims who are in a relationship to cuddle and it's just so adorable and they cuddle automatically so you don't have to do anything just put them both to sleep and they'll start cuddling and it's so cute and they get this cute moodlet from cuddling and it's just so adorable i love it so much this next one is the sims 3 sound effect replacement for the pie menu and just listen just that's asmr this brings back so much nostalgia it is one of my favorite mods i have the same thing for the whims as well so if we complete a whim it does the sims 3 sound effect as well oh it just brings my game to life i love it one of the biggest issues when the sims 4 first came out was how many sims were able to join your conversation and my conversations would be overrun by like eight plus sims so this mod kind of just helps you right click a sim and remove them from your conversation if you don't want them and over the years that issue has been resolved but i still keep this mod in because sometimes i got random sims in my conversation still so this is probably one of 
of my favorite small mods. This is a piggy bank that you can add money to. So you can just add any amount. I kind of like to use this for my teen sims, but I also use this for my young adult sims. But usually I just add like a couple thousand dollars once in a while when my sim gets paid. And I think it's cute. It's just a cute little necessity to have in your game. And let's watch it stack up. You can also take the money out. You can take like 10 simoleons out and i think it's super cute so for some silly reason sketch pads aren't a thing so this mod gives you a working sketch pad that lets you do any kind of painting that you want so we're gonna do a classic painting and this is archer just working on a small classic painting on this super cute small tiny sketch pad and this sketch pad is just super convenient because i know a lot of us like to make our sims into painters and sell artwork for easy money means so like once archer is done with the painting he puts them both in his inventory and he can just carry it around and paint and sketch wherever he wants to you can just drag it out the inventory and look at what he drew reminds me of another mod that i have this mod is called the paint it up mod which adds over like 170 new paintings to your game and i have the sassy edition but with the sassy edition the paintings are a lot more feminine and girly this mod is quite in depth and your sims can get special paintings depending on their mood this is what archer made and i love it i think we're gonna keep this actually and hang it on the wall over here so this over here is an oil diffuser and i like literally gets your sim if you want your sim in a particular mood faster this right here is the way to do it so let's do romantic sandal wood for miss Brittany. all your sim has to do is be in the same area as the oil diffuser and they'll get a nice little moodlet now if we change the scent to something else it will change her mood and now she is happy she can also sit here and smell the aroma This is just a nice little mod that packs a punch and I love it. I typically only use this mod when I need everyone to vacate the lot, especially if I'm like taking pictures, you need to go. So if you click on the door, you can force everyone to leave. You can force to leave and you can choose who or you can force to leave everyone but employees. So we'll just wait and everyone will just everyone's just leaving so this mod is super useful and super helpful for me especially when i'm taking like my screenies and stuff so this next mod is the online learning system and i'm pretty sure this is base game friendly but this also works with other game packs as well and this doesn't require university living which is great this is an online learning system and you can learn up to 41 skills and you can also learn some hidden skills as well it only costs 150 some million so i'm gonna have Brittany sign up then when you click on the computer you have online learning system System. you can skill gain for 10 simoleons or you can build a skill and let's say i want to learn how to video games let's learn to build our video game skill for some silly reason gaming wasn't working but she is currently learning the baking skill on the computer and i think this is super helpful for like literally all of my sims they also get a nice little skill gain moodlet from the online learning system once your sim joins the online learning system they also get a new app on their phone so they can just build a skill off of here as well so the last mod i'm going to be showing you guys is the food delivery mod by little miss sam this mod just allows you to order food services so you can click here order delivery you got little miss sam's food delivery and you have an option for pizza salad whatever you should order a pepperoni pizza so Brittany is ordering pepperoni pizza right now and your ordered food from little miss sam's food delivery is on its way and should arrive shortly so we have to wait for that here's the delivery person with a box of pizza and we have to take the food and pay 50 to simoleons so yeah this is what the pizza looks like and now this is officially the last mod i'll show you guys it's just the call to meal where you got call to meal and eat and you can choose who you want to call to meal and eat but the best is for some reason staying at our house but i'm gonna call archer to a meal so he can eat this pizza with us so she's just calling him to a meal and he's gonna get up and get himself a little slice of pizza so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys found some new mods to add to your game if you did please leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye